Nope. Fuck that. No fucking way. Ah, that's more like it. Hey there, YouTube. It's Rob here again. This time we got a brand new Let's Play series until I feel free to beat up Mike Tyson again. Check it out. Oh, it's super fucking punch out. That's right, I decided to move on to a, I wouldn't necessarily say better, but a much easier on the most part game. Oh man, the graphics on this game are a marvel for the time. Alright, let's dive into it. I've already got two profiles. As you can see, I've been practicing a bit. I've got the minor and ma uh, minor and major circuits beaten just to prepare for this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll I'll probably I'll at least do the whole minor circuit. I'm not sure if I have enough time to fit the major circuit in. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've already got my Rob Door profile made. Uh, I get the, my well, the button the default buttons are actually perfect. There we go. So we start out with Gabby J from France, who was apparently, uh, his one victory was against his trainer, Glass Joe. This whiny little clump. Let me win. I lost so many times, I forget how winning feels. Okay, now I'm going to save state a lot more in this series, simply because if, in order to unlock the last circuit, you have to beat the first three without losing. So obviously I'm not going to abuse save state. I didn't even do that with fucking Mike Tyson's punch out. But if I can lose a match, I'm going to continue right at that guy rather than take a loss. Saves time in doing speed-up montages, I suppose. Yay, for British guy, for a French guy, I mean, he sounds pretty British. Punch him really starts to counter. Come on. Oh, man. Back out, look at your breath. Ha! <laughs> So much for backing off and catching your breath, old man. Now, he does do a little taunt like Glass Joe. Well, oh, I want to super knock him down. Oh, well. I don't know if you can... I don't know if uh, you can knock him down instantly off his taunt or not. I really don't remember. Oh, you asshole. Oh, well. You go down like a pussy. Not, uh, now, I should mention, uh, I do actually know of way faster strategies to beat these guys in record time, but uh, I don't know them all off by heart, and they're fairly difficult to pull off consistently. Yeah, so I thought I got them faster than my practice run, but not as fast as whoever that Dawn guy was. Oh god, it's our Canadian stereotype, bear hugger. Watch out, I'm a killer. I'm the bear hugger, eh? Much more interesting in the pu Wii Punch Out version, but. Bear hugger's not that hard. In fact, he spends a lot of his time taunting, and you can get some. He wants you to hit his belly. You may notice that the biggest difference in this one is the super meter. It's more like the arcade punch out. Where you get a super meter and can punch unlimitedly as long as you have that meters up. Which makes this game a lot easier and ah shit in some ways. Also, instead of getting a Ah fuck, I fell for it. Instead of uh getting, you know, like the typical boxing three round three three-minute rounds, you get one three-minute round. So the matches tend to be a lot faster. Which makes Let's Playing this game a dream in some ways. Okay, you want to taunt me? I'll fucking play ball, asshole. Yeah, not my best run against this guy, but... Ah, shit, that was stupid. But, didn't even really need to do that. That was excessive. But, I'm an asshole that way. I don't remember 
if Bear Hugger appeared in the arcade Super Punch Out game or not, honestly. I can't remember if he originated here or from there. Yeah, definitely not not my best time. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. Oh, Piston Hurricane from Cuba. Can you ride out a storm or be caught in my hurricane rush? Now, he was from the arcade Punch-Out. I think he was a second opponent. And it was basically where Piston Honda came from. Piston Honda was like a Japanese version of Piston Hurricane. Not that tough, but... Oh, there you got my special up. I don't know if punching the, the proper hand... Oh. I don't know if counter-punching against the proper hand matters in this one like it does in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but... Uh, uh. Oh, big right hook to the gut sends him flying into the corner. He's lucky that corner is there. He'd be in the crowd otherwise. Fuck you. That's where he gets annoying with the fancy footwork, but again, sucker punch him into the corner. Yeah, Pissing Hurricane is not hard. You just have to remember when he does his rush, the whole block up, down, up, down, up, up, then let go, up, let go. I'm pretty sure you can counter punch it, but uh, the timing's trickier than Piston Honda. I'm not quite good at it yet, so I say fuck it. Oh, right on, I topped my practice score. Oh, look who's returned. You'll be down for the count of my one with one punch from my bull charge. Yeah, Bald Bull is the minor circuit champion this time around, which says a lot about how much easier he is. He does have a more annoying short range version of the bull charge though. Yeah, but he's not that hard. Doesn't do the rolling jobs anymore as you can see. Man, after beating Little Mac, this uh, I feel bad for Bald Bull. Little, he had a hard enough time against Little Mac. This guy doesn't even need fucking stars to super punch. He just hooks like no one's business. He's a freaking hooker. And he's gonna see the mat again. Now, last one, I did not practice. He knocked me down on his uh, on his short range bull charge. I gotta remember the timing for it. He's gonna pull it off here, probably. Yeah, see, it's not like the it's not like the regular bull charge where he does it on he where you hit him on a third hop. There, see. I'll take the knockdown if it means beating the shit out of bald bull on the on the second hit. I'd hit. I like how the characters in this game. It's not all, but some of them have a more anime look. It's kind of cool. And, yeah, so I thought I was, oh man, I was a fraction of a second slower than my practice run. That's, fr that's fucking crazy. And slightly less points than my practice run, but you know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I could count the amount of fucks I give, which is none. Okay, so now we go on to the major circuit. Yeah, I have time to at least put a dent into some of these guys. Oh, it's the Jamaican stereotype. People who can't feel the rhythm are so lost. Do you have the rhythm, man? Bob Charlie's not too bad. The only disadvantage I have is if he does a special attack, I don't remember how to counter it, because when I was fighting him in trading, it never came up at all. Not once. Woo hoo! He does an annoying thing where he'll juke to the side, though. Which, which makes which makes uh, speed strategies hard sometimes. Because you can't count. Because it means more time before you can counterattack, and that's a slightly longer fight. This is yeah. This gets annoying. Stick and jive time. Oh, I forgot about the f the speed jabs. 
There's another special punch. So you get three different specials you can do. The right uppercut, or the uppercut hook. Ooh, woo, and he's going to fall back down and lose. You got the uppercut version of your special by holding up and special. Uh, your hook version of the special to the gut by just pushing special. And by tapping special, you do rapid fire punches, which I can always forget about. They, they don't come in handy that much, but it, it comes in handy there, like when I want to get a knockdown with a, a super knockdown. Oh man, fraction of a second slower than my practice run. Oh, boo hoo. Oh, we have a Japan. Oh, Chinese stereotype. Dragon Chen. You want to find yourself a fist on when you lick up. Uh, yeah. This guy should not be allowed because he fights with uh, martial arts that are not boxing, as you will see. Also, he looks like an awesome little anime character. I love this guy. Oh, those rapid jabs are annoying. And he'll come out with a low blow. It's not, not overall that hard. He does have some annoying moves you'll, that you'll see. Now what's nice here is you can button mash when your opponent's down to regain life. A uh, feature they brought back in the Wii Punch Out. Now he's got, he's got one or two. Oh yeah, he didn't do these last time, so I didn't have a chance to practice against them. Here's a big attack. Just duck it. Ah, shit. See, again, I do the, ra the rapid punch works a lot better when you want to hit them with a super blow when they're low on life. Which will sometimes knock them out and usually mean they come back with less life than... Oh, fuck, I was expecting, a, expecting to do his, uh, one of his either special moves. His other move that he did, the only move he did be in practice, is he meditates. He'll glow briefly and then he'll regain life. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta punch him before he regains any life, really. But yeah, jump kicks off the corner. Tell me that's not badass. Oh, I decimated in my practice time. Probably because he didn't do those meditations and regain any life. Ah, uh, masked muscle from Mexico. You should give up now, senor. Yeah, this guy is not hard. He introduces a new mechanic, though. Which I don't think was in Mike Tyson's punch-out at all. See, those punches there, you can only hit him initially when he's... On, when he's uh, with whatever side he jump, he punches too. It's not annoying, but uh, the spit in his eye moves annoying. If you get hit, you, it, it blurs your the your screen, so you have a hard time seeing what uh, is coming up next. So the trick is not to get hit. Uh, I always have trouble with that attack. I forgot you. You're supposed to block up and then either and then either block. Down. I don't even think you can block down that that. The hooky does, but yeah. Oh, I forgot about that move. See, you know, sometimes you don't even have to counter punch if the move's slow enough. Which saves a couple of seconds. Ooh. Ah, shit, I forgot about that headbutt. Oh well, so I'll just knock him out normally. I had wanted to dodge and just do a rapid punch for maximum uh, knockout time, but whatever. Time is immaterial. It's a man-made construct, my friends. Look it up. But don't really, because I'm probably wrong. Yeah, as I thought, it was my practice run was quicker. Oh, look who's relegated the major fucking circuit champion. How'd you good not kiss? Cause I'm about to put you down for the night. Oh, you Muhammad Ali looking motherfucker. He's nowhere n he's still hard. He's the hardest opponent thus far. But he's nowhere near as hard as he used to be. Like, you can actually hit him in the face now. He has a few nasty tricks up his sleeve, don't get me wrong. Like, that delayed uppercut's annoying. It's not hard, just annoying. He'll, he'll also bring back the triple uppercuts too. Oh, you asshole! I think he only I think he only does the triple. Uh, yeah, I fucking hate that move. It's the only move of his I haven't completely figured out. 
I know you should just I should just hold up, but I don't like blocking because sometimes sometimes it's hard to get a good counter attack in. Oh, you asshole! He actually does get fairly hard uh, after the se after the second knockdown. You're gonna see a lot of the nightmare express this part, this phase. See? Fuck. See, I keep forgetting about blocking that one. Although I was holding up there, but I think because I got hit once, I couldn't block it. Oh, I was expecting the Nightmare Express. See what I mean? Way easier than in Mike Tyson's punch out. Way to go, you anime Matt Damon looking fucker. Heh. Alright, so I think my time there is probably. Oh, it was better. I couldn't remember. Uh, wow, off by like 560 points from my practice run score. Mind you, my practice run involves more cell involved actually use of save states. If I didn't like a result of a fight, I would save state and just to kind of learn the patterns, so I didn't come off as a complete useless asshole. All right, so who will who will we fight next when I start the world circuit? Nine tenths of you probably know because you probably all fucking played this game. Other than that, I ain't gonna tell ya. All right, well, I really hope you liked the uh, the video, guys. Uh, I warn you, the world circuit gets harder from here. The first few, the first three guys are fairly tough. The champion is actually super hard. He's another rehash. I'm not gonna say who, but I find he's harder than he was in the original game when, until you get to learn his pattern. And if I can beat all of them without losing, which seeing I'm safe stating is gonna happen. I get the special circuit where the, I haven't played that far in, pr in practice yet. But that's where shit really hits the fan. All right. Well, I like I said, I hope you like the video. Hope you keep enjoying the videos. Glad I can do a video that was finally mostly stress-free. Have a good day.